Welcome back, welcome back. Sorry. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. It seriously means so much to me. Um, I saw that I'm like over 100 and I was like, ah, oh, so startled and amazed and yeah, grateful. So this is my first story time video. It's something that I have really been wanting to do and it is a paranormal experience video, which was something that oh, I have so many, sorry, I'm like scratching my leg really hard. I have so many bug bites from a party I went to the other night, which is outside and I am just itching everything. I think I have one under here. I don't even know. I don't know. But anyway, I had really been struggling with whether or not I wanted to do a video on this topic because obviously when you open up and tell anyone that you've seen something paranormal. There are people who believe you, there are skeptics that say you're crazy, and everything in between. And I know I'm not, I mean I'm crazy, but not that type of crazy. <laughs> so it happened when I was 11 and let, I didn't tell pretty much anyone, like any of my best friend, until years and years later because I felt like I was crazy. But I knew it wasn't crazy. I knew what I saw was real and like happened. Um, the only people I really told were my immediate family and my siblings at the time, you know, were like, oh, you just, you're just being stupid. And I was like, no, like I know what I saw. Like I can't explain it, but I know what I saw and it doesn't add up. Uh, okay, so I was 11 years old. We had just moved into the house that I'm sitting in my room right now, this house. Um, I still live with my parents. It's super cool. Be smart about what you go to college for, people. Okay? All I know was before this was a res residential area, um, it was an apple orchard. And I don't even know how many years it was an apple orchard for, but I, and I don't know anything before then. I just know it was an apple orchard and then now it is a house with a lot. I mean, ugh. now it's a track with lots of houses in it. Um, I've always wanted to kind of go somewhere in town and like figure out like what what has this land been used for used for before blah 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 what's the history of it but I'm kind of scared too I don't know I don't know I just because obviously I'm in New York State and it's one of the oldest states in the U.S. so I'm sure the, I'm sure a lot has happened here but anyway I'm sounding really stupid per usual I was home by myself only with my um my boy dog Shotzi who has since recently passed away try not to cry um so it was just him and I at home and it was a Friday it had to be a, uh, it had to be I know it was a Friday my mom was at work my dad was at work and my two siblings were doing sports stuff after school so I was the only one that was home and it wasn't unusual though for my father to get home early from work on Fridays because he did the whole 40 hours the re you know, earlier in the week he got hours done, you know, so we got to 40, he could come home at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. And I was in the kitchen and so it, our house is like, here's, the, here's, let's say, okay, here's a box. Here's the hallway and like to the garage door that leads you to the garage. And over here is the kitchen, over here's the kitchen. And then like right here in between the two kind of areas, if you go up, up like this, is the office. That probably made no sense, but that's how it goes. So I'm in the kitchen, here's the garage door, and then right in the middle, up a little bit, is our office. And it's all, you know, like hallway, kitchen. Hallway, kitchen. So if you're standing in the part of the hallway, you can see the office door. When it's open, you see right in the office. And I was in the kitchen, Shotzi starts acting up, and not bad he was just getting excited and he went to the hallway like he's looking at the garage door from the in the hallway and he's wagging his tail and that was always a sign that you know someone's home he's excited somebody's home so i'm like oh i hear a door a door like a, it sounded like um excuse me it sounded like a car door slamming shut and i go to he looks at me and he's wagging his tail and i come out you know come into the hallway and i'm standing in front of the door of the office and I look at Chatsi and I just go, oh, daddy's home. And he's wagging his tail still and he's so excited. And um, we were just moving to the house. So we hadn't been here too long. And my mom had special ordered 
uh, curtains that had yet to come in and a lot of the, the windows on our house, especially downstairs, are very large windows. So in the meantime, on the office window, she had just a light brown sheet, a light brown bed sheet. And it was so sunny outside that the light coming through, I could, you could basically just see through the sheet outside. So I could see where the garage, like the door come from the, on the side of the house going into the garage was. I could see um, the little path and stuff like not super clear, but clear enough. And I'm standing there waiting for my dad to like open the garage door, the big garage door, because he had an opener. I didn't know why he wasn't opening it, but he didn't. And I'm standing there and I'm looking out the window from like a little bit in the hallway through the door. It's all super close. I'm not like super far away from the window. And I'm watching and I see a male figure walk from the front of the house up the side here into the garage. Open, and I see him open the side garage door, go inside the garage and shut it. And then everything went silent. It just kind of, it's so hard to explain, but it just kind of felt like a whoosh. Once that he closed, once he closed the door, it felt like a, and everything went quiet. And Shotzi was sitting or standing on the ground in front of me, and he just like, what did one of these and looked up at me, kind of like, what the hell happened? We're like, what the hell just happened? I wait a second, thinking, well, maybe someone's gonna knock on the garage door, or maybe they're just doing something in the garage but I kind of knew no one was there because it was literally like the, it just a silence just dropped over the whole house. And Chatsy looks at me and I'm just kind of like, I give it another second. And then I start to panic because I'm like, what the, you know, I'm like, what's happening? So at the time we still had our landline um, telephone. I go through the kitchen. I go grab it. I grab it from where it's sitting. I go to our living room, which is on the other side of the house, and I look out the front window of the living room to see if there's a car in the driveway. Because you can, like I said, big windows, I can just see everything. No car in the driveway. This is, at the time, we were, I think it was our house. There was a few houses behind our house getting built on the other street that you can see behind us. And then I think there was one down, down the street from us that was being built. So it was very empty on the street at the time. There were no other cars. There were no cars. There were no bikes. There was literally nobody. So I call my mom at work. I'm like calling her and like someone answers. I'm like, is Dom there? And they're like, oh yeah, just a second. They give me my mom. I'm on the phone with her. And at this point I'm racing up the stairs because um, I want to get to my bedroom. And my, be my bedroom is above the garage. So I'm like, I don't know why I want to be up top of this person who's in the garage if there's anyone there. Um, and she gets on the phone and I'm just like spazzing out and I'm like, I'm telling her what I saw and she's like, Brittany, it was probably just someone dropping, it was probably like, you know, a delivery man who's putting the package in the garage. Just so, you know, no one will steal it from the front. And I'm like, who's gonna steal it? We're literally going to the only house pretty much on our street at this point. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm like, I, I, and she's saying to me and I know it's not true because I didn't see any truck. I looked immediately after the whole silence, you know, like I really like there was no time for this person to drive away and me not see them. Um, and then later on, when like my dad got home, because he came home a couple hours after that and I, and I told him the story, there was no package in the garage. There was no package, there was no mail, there was nothing. And the figure that I saw was like, he was... I couldn't, I can't give you the like details like, oh, he had blue eyes and gray hair, but I knew it wasn't my dad. He was taller. He was, yeah, I want to say it was like a button down shirt. I don't know how I know that, but I just kind of know that. And I just, I don't know. So I tell my parents what happened. My mom just thinking it's the delivery guy. There's no package. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Okay. I tell my siblings, they kind of don't react so nicely. They just think I'm I don't know. They don't, they're not as, at the time, I want to say they're not as big as believers in the paranormal stuff. Like I was, when I was younger at that age, I would hear a lot of things. I would kind of see things and I just knew it wasn't in our world. I knew it wasn't someone who was alive. I knew it was, I just, so anyway, 
So that happens and for years and years I didn't tell anybody. I told just my immediate family like I said. I didn't even tell my best friend. I want to say it was until I was a senior in high school that I told my best friend. I was like this is something that happened to me. I've told like pretty much all my friends since then like now I tell them that's an experience I had. I don't know why I saw it. It didn't scare like it's it startled me but I wasn't like oh my god I'm gonna die he's gonna come and kill me. It was like I don't know why he was wanting to come in my garage and show himself to me that way. But I just, you know, take it for what it is. I, I, I don't know. That's my experience. I'm not crazy, okay? Literally, he came in. No one ever left. There was no sounds. There's nowhere to hide in my garage. Like, there's literally nowhere to hide. Like, and why would you? And I, So I don't know. But that is my experience. I always tell people, you know, don't... Be afraid if you do see something or hear something and think maybe that's someone who, you know, a spirit or whatever. They're not out to get you. They're just, sometimes they have the energy to show themselves. I really do, like, people can tell me, that doesn't, it's not real, that's not real. I've seen so much stuff, like, n little things, heard things that I just know. Like, I just know it's... There's something better after this, but, you know, you could just say hello to people when you want to. That's kind of how I see it. I think it's nice though, you know? It's kind of nice, like, yeah, I was very startled at the moment. But it's just kind of nice to know. I, I don't think it was a family member who's passed on. Because at the time, um, I mean, I obviously don't know. But if it was someone, like, way back who I don't even know of that was in part of my family line. But uh, I've had a lot of people, people pass in my immediate family, sent, like, aunts and grandparents. And it's just nice to know that they're around sometimes, you know. So anyway, that's my story. Not very startling, but startling to me when I was 11 years old. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me if you've ever seen anything in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories with anything paranormal or if you have never seen anything and you're like, why haven't I? And if you do really like me and enjoy my awkwardness, please feel free to subscribe. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you guys are just doing well. I love you so much. Until next time.